look so smart with this. This is literally never going to end because I suck at this. I guess I'll always stay. Hi, my name's Claire, and I made my very own prom dress by hand. So, how did it all start? Well, I went with my sister one day to Joanne's, and she was looking for fabric for a project. And when we were looking at satin, I happened to see this beautiful turquoise fabric. And I had thought, well, that would be super cool to have as a color for my prom dress. I'll keep that in mind when I go shopping. But then I kept thinking, how cool would it be if I had made my own prom dress? So I saved a, co a couple paychecks. I set a budget for myself, which was about like, I think a hundred dollars. And I started looking. I picked out the fabric and at the time it was at a discount, which was really great for me. Well, I got about 10% off and at the end, everything in that moment, my initial stuff, so the base fabric, the sequins, and the thread, and I think also the interfacing and the boning, that all went up to about maybe $68. Like, I was surprised, so it was a really great feeling. And then we picked up the fabric and I got to work, which also, this was my original sketch for the whole dress. Um, it was gonna be a high and low with that little sheer thing, which it, that sheer stuff was so annoying to do, but I eventually did it. Starting with the bodice. I had a sweetheart bodice and there was luckily a um, template on Etsy that I was able to follow. Okay, so the bodice pattern is lined up and all you have to do is cut it. Through that template, I made the Sweetheart Bodice, which actually ended up being too small for me. Or no, so the Sweetheart Bodice actually ended up being too big for me. So I had to pretty much cut out all of the back panel. Because it came in, there was the front, which was like the Sweetheart and then it went into like three other panels so I had to cut out the last panel in the back and then it ended up fitting for me which I also added interfacing to make it more structure like I don't know stronger I don't know what I'm doing and I also added the boning which took really long but we were in quarantine I had nothing else to do so like what better time than now the bodice on both sides of the sweetheart bodice. That's all stitched up. This is the lining. Here is the front of the bodice that I'll show. All I need to do is take this boning, put that all on there, and then put them together. So that's all nice. So I just finished sewing in the first bit of boning. It is curved, so it looks all weird, but I'm just gonna iron it out and it'll go back to being flat. That's nice. And now I just have to do that about four more times. Isn't that fun? And then after that, I started doing the skirt, which it took a lot. This is half the skirt. The other half is hanging down until I cut here to start the high and low. It was too big for me. I followed the tutorial. Um, it was a high and low dress and I was following a tutorial and the skirt was way too long. I definitely didn't measure myself properly. I did not do any measurements properly. There was also, there was always something for me to change. And it was never quite right, so that was the problem with like going to a designer. I mean, they would probably cut it right and probably cut all the measurements right, but I would have to keep going back for a tailor. And in a quarantine setting, that wasn't really good. That wasn't a good idea. So I hand sewed the whole thing. All right, so another update. We I just 
just finished the um, one of the back panels. It comes in two different panels, and find it. We have pockets. This Heimler dress has pockets. So all you have to do is attach that other piece to here, and then we will sew both sides together so that it's an actual skirt. Attach the waistband, and it'll start coming together. You know, the zipper. So I'm really excited. <laughs> After I had done the skirt, I attached the two according to the tutorial, and it kind of just kept going after that. I added the zipper, which I actually did wrong because the back was fine, like the bottom part was fine. I did the zipper straight for the back part and then once you got to the bodice, it kind of went sideways. So after I realized that, I had to take the zipper out of the top part, stitch up the hole that I had made, and then reinsert the zipper straight. And that was just, the back looks like a mess, but my hair's long, so you know, I can just cover it, right? We're getting back to working. Yay! I've already started sewing it, um, and I put it on this mannequin so that you can see. I did not want to put blurry. This will hopefully help me with the belt a bit more. So yeah. Pog. Anyways, let's get over to the time lapse. Oh, also with the belt, I had to one by one take E6000 and glue the sequins all around the belt. And kind of like fading, as you can see. I mean, I don't know. I haven't edited this. I don't have a script. While I was doing this, I was watching a whole lot of cheesy Hallmark movies. I watched a bunch of Netflix movies. I listen to my own playlist, a couple new songs, like, I don't really know. I think I'm gonna go back to time-lapse because this is kind of awkward. Um, and time-lapses are faster, okay? Um, I would also watch freaking Minecraft videos. <laughs> um, specifically the Dream SMP videos, because at that time the War of Lamanberg was going on, which I never finished that saga, but I hope to catch up on it. I also use my trusty fridge. You can see me, like, I think in one of the time lapses, you can see me getting up and going to my fridge and bringing back a drink, which I actually have the same drink in there, which is my Izzy Blackberry Lemonade. I'm not sponsored. I just love these. Why would I be sponsored? I don't make regular YouTube videos. I'm really bad at these videos. What are YouTubers supposed to say? Like, I don't know. If you like this, then like it. That's cool. Actually, in the works is my after prom dress, which um, it's kind of like my prom dress, just shorter. And so, because I have extra fabric, I'm gonna try and make an after prom dress. This is my newly drawn after prom dress. You can see the comparison. It's really just shorter because like I'm thinking if we go to main event, because that's where my sister had her prom, if we go to main event, um, I'm gonna want to play DDR and uh, you already know it's gonna be too hot. I mean that's probably still not a good idea but like oh well whatever it's one night. I'm definitely not a professional. I don't know what I was doing throughout this whole thing. I've never made a human sized dress. <laughs> I've only made it for the size of a doll. So in no way is this like a professional. This isn't a tutorial. It's really just my process. And I thought that it was so interesting that I wanted to share with the world. I'll probably make another video whenever I go to prom, if that does happen, and whenever I make my after prom dress, and hopefully I'm better at recording them because I don't have any footage from really this process because I kept just going and not recording. Um, if you really want to see all my timeline and pretty much all the same footage, just there's a little bit more in this video, um, you can have it over to my Instagram and there should be a highlights on my profile with all of the videos as I was going with all the weeks. Please never watch any of my other videos on this channel. I'm probably gonna delete them because they're cringe. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go to class, maybe eat, maybe 
maybe talk to my crush. I don't know. But yeah, have a great day, guys. And if you ever make your own prom dress, please be sure to share with me because I love seeing any projects or anything that people are making because I am bored because we're still in quarantine. My name is Claire and that was the story of how I made my very own prom dress by hand. Have a great day guys! Bye bye!